Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Sunday. Da -da -da! Sophie's saddle pad. I am excited. Come on, Ellie. This is it. I'm excited. I can't wait to do it. I'm going to show you really quick what I have to do. So this was on Amazon. This is the one he recommended because, see, it's super thin at the top. There's no shim at the at the top and probably they're all like that it has two shim pockets which she says is superior um what i didn't know is that it came with actual shims which is going to make my job so much easier i thought i had to like trace this and cut my own shims but it actually comes with shims and what's really exciting about these shims is that it comes with one thick one and then two skinny ones I literally bought the best material to make shims because I got one thick one and one thin one. So I'm gonna be able to m make these shims so easy. It's got the same in every single pocket. All I have to do is trace these out in this material and then slip them in. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it is. Excellent product though, like it's, it's only a hundred bucks. So it's not like a big name brand or anything. ECP Equine Com Comfort Products. I read that upside down, that's why. ECP Correction Half Pad, that's what it's called. But yeah, I'm excited. And then Sophie's gonna try it out today. We're gonna see how it changes her position in the saddle and how it helps Lady. I'm excited. The CWD one was $600 and then that one was $100. Go figure. <laughs> But before we can do anything fun, we have to do the goats. I said, today is goat day. Like, we can't keep putting it off. Day on the farm, and little Winston wants to be first. He always wants to. I know. He just loves me. He just wants his love. I need a slogan, you guys. On the day-by-day -day farm, we let the animals choose who goes first. Well, you're fatty. <laughs> I know. Fat no, Dad fixed it, so it's like harder to close. But anyways, well, little Winston, little baby Winston is going first. Look at all the roaning he has. He's not so baby. He's not so baby. Goats were not that happy, you guys. <laughs> we're still going. We are two down and <laughs> it's going. I gotta write the date down here. Even though we've been a little bit late, it's actually been really good. Like their feet are looking really good. Look how nice her feet are, you guys. This is obviously a case of they are able to wear down their feet here. If, I don't know if it's like the rocks that they climb on or or where they're doing it, but when we got them, this, this little pad here was like a big giant ball and their feet were so overgrown. It literally is taking me five seconds to go through everyone's feet because they're doing such a good job wearing them down themselves. Sophie and I have a system. She catches them, I trim them. Oh, it's Cricket! Did you, we let them choose who comes next. Come on, Cricky! Cricket. Oh, I love her. Carry. You can carry her. You want some grain, baby girl? We put everybody in their stalls when we're done so that we don't have to worry about the gate. Oh, you got her. Well, I caught her next, not her. her. <laughs> anyway, we are on the queen bee. And she butter. wants to get up there. Yeah, she thinks she's gonna get milked. So the next foot day is not on a hot day. Whoa, it is scorching. So now I wanna go and cut those pads so bad and try the saddle on and like, this is so exciting to me, but then some family messaged and said, we're coming for a visit, which I love. And so now I have other things to do. So I'm hoping to get to it today. It's a priority for me. But right now I'm gonna get ready for some family. This guy's feeling super frisky. One good thing about having a farm is that you're the one house where people just wanna stop by when they're bored or when they have like friends over or they wanna do something like exotic <laughs> or fun. You're the house that they say, hey, can we come over to? Because you have so much going on, it's entertaining. They can have those five minutes of hormone release while they play with the animals and watch the animals. It's like going to a petting zoo but for free. All right, I have one and a half hours, so my dog and I are out here, and we're gonna try and get this thing done while we wait for them to get here. It's my middle son, 
that's coming and he pretty much has moved out of the house when we started our vlog and he lives quite far and he's away with work a lot and so it's always really nice to see him but you guys he's coming today because him and his girlfriend want to look through our, like our family photos and he wants to take i've like like so many people i have a big box of family photos i used to be big into taking photos and he wants to take the box home and scan them all in and bring back the extras or, and bring them back when he's done but that can only mean one thing you guys like anytime a kid comes home to get family photos because they want to see them as a baby is when they're going to have a baby so he doesn't have any kids right now but i already messaged my sister and said stay on alert I think he's going to have a baby. I think they're coming to tell me that they're having a baby, which will be so exciting because a few years ago, I dreamed that everybody has a baby at the same time. So Nick just had a baby, um, I think, and I keep dreaming that Stacy's going to have a baby. My oldest son, that have Brooklyn and Jacob, I keep dreaming that they're going to have another baby. And I dreamed that they're going to have a baby this spring. So that means they'll be getting pregnant anytime soon. So I keep telling her, don't, you know, you're going to be pregnant soon. I just feel it. And... Also, this son um, was having a baby at the same time. So if he tells me that he's having a baby, that means that my dream is coming true and I'm going to have a big burst of babies on the day-by-day -day farm. All right, I've finished this up. It's not perfect. It doesn't look perfect. I love how this does up, though. I love that the Velcro is huge. Anyway, I have my new shims already all made. Um, the only thing that I have to do is that I have to cut some of them. So he wants... At the back here, he wants me to build it up gradually. In fact, I think I'm going to even need more in the back. So I'll probably have to make more of them. So these shims are the whole length. And then he wants me to build up, like make another one that's this this far back. And then make another one like that's this far back to build this part up so that it sits properly on her back. I can definitely tell that it's not thick enough. So I'm going to have to make more. These are the shims that came with the thing i am so paranoid about my finger do you guys see that the skin is all peeling off now it's hard to focus i'm so paranoid about it today i forgot to put a band-aid on my band-aid fell off last night so i left it off for the night and i, I want to keep one on during the day i honest to god am so paranoid about that finger like that that's the second infection i had in that finger this year so i'm paranoid about it like i did the goat's feet without a band-aid on there and now i'm like i just keep feeling like holy heck i need a band-aid on there so let's go get a band-aid my son should show up any minute i don't like to video like when people come here a lot of the time but it was so funny my son brought his dog and the dog was like trying to play with posy like posy was a dog and posy just laid down and he was like running all around her, big huge dog, running all around her, trying to love on her and trying to like bite her neck and get her to play. Posey just laid still. And then as soon as the dog calmed down and like realized that Posey was just like a, a friend, Posey was in love with him. Like Posey is such an amazing little pig. Like she loves everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. She's never been shy a day in her life. Like she is the best animal on our farm. A storm is coming, you guys. I he, I feel the breeze. It is getting windy. That usually means a storm is on its way. I am being followed. I don't know where the turkeys are. Run, Ellie, run! <laughs> All right, it is getting late at night and we are gonna six o'clock, holy moly. Six? Yeah. We're gonna try and see if we I, can. I don't like you watching me do this. Okay, don't look, you guys. It's stressing me out, man. It's stressing her out, man. She feels judged. It's because we used to have trouble with putting our saddles too far forward, and it took a lot of practice to get it in the right spot. You appreciate it, don't you, though? She's so relaxed. <laughs> You're so relaxed. It's so cool out. It literally feels so good that the heat wave is broken. Can you guys hear the wind? It's just, it's crazy. Like, it just feels so good. Uh, I'm so grateful for the wind for our animals, though. She's like, what are you concocting now? This way, I think it's working. I think it's working. You're stressing me out. Move. <laughs> I would never have believed it. I never would have believed it. I think I might even have to take out a couple of pads, but I think, I think it's working. I don't know. I think I have to take some out. But look at it, it rose that up. And wow, this feels so good. 
what in the world? How is this possible? What kind of uh, witchcraft is this? I think I need to take some out, Sophie. This is a bit too high. But I don't know. I should get my phone. Do you have a phone? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. When I sit, it, when I sit in it, it's going to push down a little bit. So All I'm right, gonna... let's try that. Holy heck! I wish I had done a before picture and an after picture. There's only one way to know is to run in it. I'm going to take some pictures, send them to some professional people, send them to the saddle fitter. Um, she's a professional saddle fitter. She knows what to do. It just seems weird. Like I never ever see anybody say, oh, here, make this and this and this, and this will work. This looks like it's going to work. I'm so excited. I'm so she excited. A, a line of poles. You're going to make a big line of poles? Yeah. Like, right. you know what I've done for real life before? Yeah. So that she actually, like, figures out there's poles there. Until yeah. Later. Yeah. So Sophie's getting ready to go to another show. We have two more shows. Um, yeah, at least good. two more shows coming up. We have two more shows coming up soon. And then she has more shows coming up in the fall. But, like, for the summer series, we are doing a couple more shows. So I'm excited. Like, I'm excited to finally have this looking good so having that back elevated will do two things it'll stop Sophie from being in a chair position and it will free up her back a little bit so that she can build those muscles that she needs so that she doesn't need the padding and then we can get her a saddle a good saddle a dark brown one is that your only requirement a dark brown saddle and comfortable and comfortable you have a name brand picked out or it doesn't Beauty. I don't know I feel like we should try different brands the trouble with big brands is that almost all of them make saddles out of foam and I don't know that mu they must that must be superior I mean I just stuffed that sat had that half pad with foam and the saddle fitter told me to stuff it with foam so it must be the superior um, way to do it but if you ever want to have your saddle adjusted to fit your horse and just go with a saddle fitter they can't adjust foam they can but it's like a big huge process Typically, when you buy a high-end saddle, you go with your that saddle fitter, and they send it away. And that's the problem is that when we want to get our saddle adjusted, it has to go away for like three months or at least six weeks before it can be uh, fixed to that horse. There's just so many problems. <laughs> this is like longer than my saddle. Do you like it though? Yeah, it looks good. I think so too. Yeah, well, we're going to find out. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling a little pressured here. <laughs> so ever since Sam fixed the fence, Honey has not been able to get in here. Not one a single time. So success. All right. So she is setting up a line of poles. She wants to get serious about her pole work. I'm glad that we ended up having company today because it has really cooled down and it's gorgeous out here right now. It's a perfect time to ride. I can tell if it's helped Sophie's position. She still almost looks like she's in a chair position. But I'm not sure. I'll have to like, the fitter's going to come back and we'll have another lesson this week. She's and not going to figure those out very soon. It's going to take a little bit. Are they trot poles? Yeah. Sophie says she's relaxing her head a lot. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mundane. Oh, oh, oh. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. Okay, we adjusted it again. Let's try attempt number two i'm we're just trying it to get a feel for what we're doing here and i'm gonna have the trainer adjust it this week so that we can see She's better drawing over them. so we can see what she thinks definitely better though I still feel like, well, actually Sophie's position looks a lot better. I still feel like that could be changed just a tiny bit. I 
think we're not quite there yet, but we're really, really close, so we're gonna call it quits. I'm gonna uh, change it when we go in there. And then uh, when she rides again this week, I think it'll be perfect, and I think everything will be awesome. I think we'll be ready for her to ride and be excellent and build those muscles in her back. So we are, I think by like October, she should be able to get a saddle. <laughs> 